I love to cook. And during COVID-19, the era we're going through, because everybody's life is gonna be pre-corona and post-corona, it's great to cook. So this afternoon, I'm gonna cook two things. My daughter, Margot, loves to cook and she loves sweet potato biscuits. So we're gonna make some sweet potato biscuits. We've got a couple of cups of sweet potatoes, which I roasted and we mashed in there. We've got some uh, coconut milk uh, mixed with apple cider vinegar, which is creating a kind of coconut milk uh, buttermilk. And in here, we've got some uh, all-purpose uh, organic flour, some coconut palm sugar, and some baking soda, and some salt. And here is the vegan butter. And what I'm gonna do is begin by mashing up the vegan butter. Um, should I use a potato masher? I think I'll use a potato masher. Um, and we will mash that all up. I hope I have a potato masher. So this is two cups, these were two. This is actually a really big sweet potato and a smaller one. I love sweet potatoes. Coming together beautifully. Who doesn't love sweet potatoes and vegan butter? And Miyoko's vegan butter is the best. So I think that's mashed up. Now we're gonna pour in the coconut buttermilk, which is uh, basically whole coconut milk and it's a little thick and it's got the cream. Let me get a spoon to get this out here. We're supposed to put it in the fridge, which we did, and um, not completely melted. And then you put apple cider vinegar in it, which makes it curd. Tastes like coconut milk with apple cider vinegar. Mm. Powder, the, the, the flour, and the coconut, palm sugar, and the salt. You put salt in here, right, Charlie? Mm -hmm. Just don't say pass the salt beater, Charlie, okay? Right. So now I mix this in here. And what we're going to do is mix this all up and then put it in the fridge for half an hour before we turn it into biscuits. So we're, um, the, the sweet potato dough was in the um, fridge for a half an hour, got nice and chill. And now we're making it into biscuits and rolling it in this all purpose organic flour. Uh, makes it stick together. It's, it's gooey because you know, when you put flour and water together, you know, you make paste. So um, we made these last Friday and they were delicious, but they were uh, smaller. They didn't puff up as much. So these are gonna be, I think, better. And uh, as I mentioned before, we're using a different kind of coconut milk. Um, here we go, our first load of sweet potato uh, biscuits. Uh, we put it on some uh, paper. You know, even with all those ingredients, we still only have one, two, three, four, eight, twelve. So twelve biscuits. They're going to be delicious. And we cook them for twenty minutes. Are we? Are we flipping in twenty minutes? The second part of today's cooking adventure is going to be miso soup. We've got the sweet potato biscuits in the refrigerator, chilling before we roll them out and then cook them. And we're gonna make miso soup. And in here we've got some vegetable broth, organic vegetable broth, and some seaweed, some tofu, 
and I'm growing some onions on my back porch. I'm gonna chop up some onions in there and uh, some miso paste. So uh, we're doubling the recipe here. Eight. Okay. One. I love miso soup. You always get it in a Japanese restaurant. It's good for you. It's a little salty, but um, I don't think it's overbearing. But the Japanese really know how to cook, and when you add seaweed and tofu, and by the way, that's organic tofu, and some onion greens, and vegetable broth, how can you go wrong? Good stuff. I think my favorite food is Italian food, of course, Southern Italian food is the best. Not the, 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 the heavy stuff. The, uh, I'll never forget when I was in uh, uh, Sicily, I had the best fruit of the mare I've ever had in my life. It's amazing how you can remember foods you've had around the world. I'll never forget it. But when I was in Tokyo, the Japanese really know how to cook. Of course, French cuisine ain't too bad. And um, I don't know, I'm spoiled. Spent over 40 years in New York and I get some of the best restaurants in the world, but I'll tell you, you go to a place like Napa Valley, the food ain't too bad there either. Um, I'm a foodie. Um, everybody in my family was chefs, except for me growing up, my mother, my father, my brothers. And, um, and I didn't really start cooking until I was much older. But now, I cook with love. With love, you always win. It smells good. Okay. 